Hi, I'm Larry Hart, so I'm going to demonstrate how to do a traditional Japanese tattoo, which is a con container stroke purse. Uh, from that, we're then going to transform it into Fred Rome's Whirligig, which he did in the 1960s. And then from there, I will turn it into what I call the stacking turbine, which is like recursive. Uh, which has also been done by several other folders over the years, although nobody's diagrammed or videoed it, videoed it before. Okay, let's start. So we're going to start by making a preliminary base. Obviously, even for something as simple as doing the creases that we're going to need for this, you can do it one at a time, flat on the table, lining it all up to be really exact. Or you can just do a preliminary base and squash it as if we're going to do a frog base, although we're not making a frog, or in fact a frog base. The easiest way to do this is have four flaps on each side. I'm going to fold the points of the cone down and we'll change the creases in a moment so they're on the inside and not the outside. Some of the people who have done this in the past have cut these points off, which if you're folding from squares, I don't feel you really need to. They're not in the way later. Open it all up. Change these creases so they're on the inside. centre creases, so we're folding to the centre crease, but only folding in between two creases, so just from there to there, 
and we do that eight times because we're doing it all the way around. Okay, you know you've done it eight times when you have an octagon in the center. I normally start by putting the first one up with a folded corner, bringing the next one up, keeping the crease that you've made, and collapsing so that the point comes to the outside edge there. And this is then still staying parallel with the center. And then the next, so it doesn't really matter if it's going clockwise, anti-clockwise, as long as you do the same on each one. What you'll find is you can get to a certain point and then you can't seem to go any further. When you get to that stage, you normally have to undo a few of the steps and come back to it. I would say we're almost at that stage now. Yep, we're going to have to undo a couple of steps here. Pack this back. Continue. The reason for undoing those couple of steps is you'll find that then the creases are already there when you get to it the second time, and it will just pop in. Something like this. Okay, there we have the basic tattoo. So called because you normally pull it as a container and put something inside or as a purse. Right, to go moving on to Fred Rome's Whirly Gig, turn over onto the other side and we're going to repeat the process of folding to the centre and only creasing the bit in the middle. So again, eight times. have a smaller octagon in the middle. Okay, so we're going to bring the first one down on the crease that we've done. Bring the next one down on the crease that we've done. Then bring the two together. So it's not only new creases, that they are actually there. And if you're bringing the two together, they should both line up on part of the central creases. You should be able to go under the pocket here, bring the next one down, and keep this process going into the pocket, bring the next one down into the pocket, bring the next one down. And again, same as we did on the other side, you're going to get to a stage where you can't really seem to go any further, which would be about here. Undo a couple of the early ones, carry on into the pocket, bring the next one down, 
next one down into the pocket. Bring the next one down. And I should again find that the creases are already in there and it will collapse like so. This is now Fred Rome's Wordy Gig.